Hey guys, it's John in Wrestling Talking Shop, and welcome back to the channel. Going to today in wrestling history for May the 22nd. On this day in 1989, Lex Luger won the NWA United States Champion from Michael Hayes in West Virginia. This win kicked off a 523-day reign, which still stands as record today. On this day in 1992, the first ever Smoky Mountain Wrestling Heavyweight Champion was decided in Knoxville, Tennessee, when Brian Lee defeated Paul Orndorff by disqualification in the final of a one-night tournament. Other participants in the tournament were Buddy Landell, Robert Gibson, Tim Horner, Jimmy Golden, the Dirty White Boy, and Dixie Dynamite. And on this day in 1994, WCW Slamboree, a legend reunion, took place in front of 4,000 fans in Philadelphia. The two titles changed hand on the night. They first saw Cactus Jack and Kevin Sullivan defeat the Nasty Boys in a uh, Broad Street Bully match to win the WCW Tag Team Champions. The main event saw Sting defeat uh, Big, Van, Big Van Vader for the vacant WCW International Heavyweight Champion. The title had been vacated a few days earlier by Sting. He had been he had been def he had been defeated by Rick Rude in a title match in Tokyo, Japan. After, after the match, the win was overturned and the title was offered to Sting, who turned it down, thus leaving it vacant. The real reason for this uh, because Rude had sustained a back injury in Tokyo. <clears throat> And that pretty much ended Rick Rude's career when he had sustained that back injury. But anyway, on this day in 1995, uh, Jeff Jarrett defeated Razor Ramon in a house show in Quebec to win the WWF Intercontinental Champion in Quebec. He had lost the title to R Ramon in a similar non-televised uh, event in Montreal in a ladder match three days earlier. This began Jarrett's third uh, reign as champion. And on this day in 2000, uh, WCW Monday Nitro took place in the Grand Rapids, Michigan. On the show, Vince Russo stripped Ric Flair of the World Heavyweight title. Jeff Jarrett defeated Kevin Nash to win the vacant title the same night. And on this day in 2001, the new WWF Tag Team Champions Chris Benoit and Chris Jericho who had won them the belts on Raw. A few days later, were forced by Mr. McMahon to defend the belts in a TLC match against the Hardy Boys, the Dudley Boys, and Edge and Christian. They emerged uh, from the bout victorious. And on this day in 2011, WWE's Over the Limit pay-per-view took place at the uh, Key Arena in Seattle, Washington. No titles changed hand on the show. In the main event, John Cena defeated The Miz to retain the WWF, WWE Championship. In a uh, <clears throat> Also on the card, Jerry Lawler beat uh, Michael Cole in a match where Cole had to kiss Lawler's foot. That's similar to what uh, Brett, uh, Jerry Lawler had to kiss Bret Hart's foot one time. And on this day in 2013, uh, British wrestling legend Mick Magnus passed away at the age of 92. And on this day in 2016, WWE Extreme Rules took place at the, in Newark, New Jersey. The only title changed hand of the night saw Rusev defeat Kalisto to win the U.S. title. Uh, in the main event, Roman Reigns retained the WWE Championship against AJ Styles in an Extreme Rule match. And on this day in 2020, all Elite Wrestling pre-taped the main event at Double or Nothing due to the <clears throat> the due to air the following day. The match in question was the Stadium Stampede cinematic that took place at the uh, TIAA Bank Field home of the Jacksonville Jaguars. The match saw Hangman Adam Page, the Young Bucks, Kenny Omega, and Matt Hardy defeat the Inner Circle team of Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, Santana, and Orly Ortiz, and Sammy Guevara. And that's going to wrap up today in wrestling history, guys. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell.